Hello. Okay, in this short tutorial video, we'll see why the Apache server suddenly shut down. It's not starting. Now, the error message that we're getting uh, on the XAM control panel is uh, error Apache shut down unexpectedly. This may be due to block port, missing dependencies, improper privileges, crash, or shut down by another method. So I noticed that this issue started happening. Microsoft Link was upgraded to Skype for Business. Now this is my uh, uh, work laptop, and on which I have installed XAM, and I'm running uh, web, uh, websites for testing purposes. Now this should also happen when you install Skype on your machine. So because this is happening because Apache uses the port 80 for HTTP and 443 for HTTPS with SSL. Now Skype also uses the same uh, ports and there's a conflict. That's the reason why uh, Apache server is not starting here. So we'll see that. Now if you go to, uh, if you open your Skype and go to options, file options, and if you click on the uh, personal here, uh, you will see your profile here and then if you click on advanced button you will see the advanced connection settings now um, here I can see that the port 443 is being used by Skype which uh, otherwise was used by Apache earlier for SSL connections now since this port is fully taken by Skype Apache does not have the port 443 available for SSL so this is why um, we are facing this issue so I don't want to change the settings for Skype here I just want to keep it as this I don't want to fiddle with it so I'll just go to uh, Apache connections and I will change the port for Apache instead so let's go back to our XAM control panel if you are facing this issue suppose you have Skype on the same machine as the XAM then you can change the port for Apache so that both the applications can run without interfering with one another. So to start off with, you can... Zamp is already telling us that we should look for the logs and even viewer. So you can just go to logs and see what is the error message. So the error message that we're getting here is... There's some there's your date and time, the warning, and the message is that www.example.com443 server certificate does not include an ID which matches the server name. So this is the error message we're getting, which is not very clear actually, but we can see that the problem is with the SSM port 443. So um, let's go and change some few things here. Close the logs window. Now click on config button you can see that there's some configurations here. we are only interested with uh, changing the configurations for uh, the Apache service so first click on the Apache HTTP d.conf is the configuration file for Apache web server you scroll down click anywhere in the window press control find we're looking for the port 80 so just press 80 find next as you can see that this is the this is hashed out so it doesn't matter so just scroll down a bit and you should be able to see another port 80 yeah listen so this is what you're looking for so in this config file we are telling Apache to listen to the computer port 80 which is for HTTP so we will since it's already taken by Skype we will change that to 80 Otherwise, let's keep this for a while. Don't change anything in Apache httpt.conf. Close this window, no need to change anything. From the error logs, since we see that the problem is with the SSL port, let's first change the SSL related uh, configuration. So the port in question is 443. So just press Ctrl Find and look for the port number 443. Press Find. Now, uh, this is where we need to change. If you want to keep the original, you can just hash this out and enter a new line. Listen 444. Save the file and close the window. 
try studying Apache now. So it doesn't start. So it looks like we still need to change the HTTP port as well. So let's go to config, go to httpt.conf, look for port 80. Hash this out so that you can refer to it later. Listen 8080. So now what this does is that 80 is the HTTP default port. So since we are changing the HTTP port to 8080, your local host websites will be accessible by using the port 8080. Save this file, close this, and try studying Apache. Now, as we can see, Apache has started successfully by using the port 444 for SSL and 8080 for regular HTTP. My SQL service starts without problem. So, this is how to resolve the problem for Apache after you install Skype, since both the applications will not run simultaneously or together on the same system by using the same ports. So if that is the case, then you can, as we have uh, seen, you can just go to http-ssl.conf and httpd.conf and change the ports for HTTP and SSL.